Extraction of Aluminium Symbol of Aluminium is AL It is a silvery white metal with an atomic number of 13 Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 3 and its valency is 3 the main ore of aluminium is bauxite, Al2O3.H2O, which contains approximately 30% to 70% Al2O3, that is alumina. The remaining portion is made up of gang consisting of sand, silica, that is SiO2, iron oxide, that is Fe2O3, etc. Extraction of aluminium consists of two steps. 1. Concentration of ore, that is, conversion of bauxite into alumina by Byers process. 2. Electrolytic reduction of pure alumina to get aluminium. Step 1. Concentration of bauxite. Crude bauxite ore is crushed and then treated with hot concentrated caustic soda solution, that is, NaOH solution, in a tank called digester under high pressure for 2 to 8 hours at 140 degrees centigrade to 150 degrees centigrade. Aluminium oxide being amphoteric in nature dissolves in aqueous sodium hydroxide resulting in the formation of water soluble sodium aluminate. This process dissolves silica, that is SiO2, and alumina in aqueous sodium hydroxide, leaving behind undissolved iron oxide, that is Fe2O3, in the solution, which can be separated by filtration. The filtrate containing sodium aluminate and silicate is diluted with water and then cooled to 50 degrees centigrade. This gives gelatinous precipitate of aluminium hydroxide, that is ALOH thrice, leaving behind sodium silicate in the solution. This precipitate obtained is filtered, washed, dried and ignited at 1000 degrees centigrade to get alumina, that is Al2O3. Step 2 Electrolytic Reduction of Alumina This process is carried out in a steel tank which is lined with carbon, graphite, that acts as the cathode. Hanging inside is a set of carbon graphite rods that act as anode dipped in molten electrolyte. Melting point of alumina is very high, greater than 2000 degrees centigrade. Cryolite ALF3 3NAF and fluor spar CAF2 are added to alumina in order to reduce the melting point of the mixture to about 1000 degrees centigrade. On passing electricity, aluminium is obtained at the cathode. Being heavier than the electrolyte used, molten aluminium sinks to the bottom of the tank from where 
it is removed periodically. Oxygen liberated at the anode reacts with carbon anode and forms carbon dioxide due to which the depleted anode is to be replaced from time to time. Extraction of metals of medium reactivity The metals in the middle of activity series zinc, iron, lead, etc. are moderately reactive and usually present in nature as sulfides or carbonates. As reduction of oxides to give metal is easier, these are first converted into their oxides. Depending on the type of the ore, that is, whether it is a sulfide ore or carbonate ore, the ores are processed differently to produce the metal oxides. Sulfide ores are converted to metal oxides by the method of roasting. It involves heating strongly in excess of air. Carbonate ores are converted to metal oxides by the method of calcination. It involves heating strongly in limited air. The oxides formed are then reduced to metals by suitable reducing agent such as carbon. Highly reactive metals like sodium, calcium, aluminium, etc. are also used as reducing agents as they can displace the metal of lower reactivity from their compounds. Example Manganese dioxide is heated with aluminium powder, reducing it to metallic form. This reduction reaction evolves a large amount of heat and the metal is produced in the molten state. This type of reaction is known as a thermite reaction. Another example of a thermite reaction is the reaction of iron oxide with aluminium to give iron and aluminium oxide.